It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to have beer from Rui Dop, and it's a bottle of their Utrecht Strong Ale coming in at 9.1% ABV. This beer was brewed at Brewery de Mollen in Bodgraven, Holland, and it's unfiltered, unpasteurized beer, best enjoyed within five years. I'm reading that to you because I've aged this beer. For two years. Well, it's coming up to two years. We're about mid-November 2016, actually. Let's talk three years, should we? Not two years. So it's about a three-year age bottle of this. It's been brewed with Cascade Columbus and Galena hops. They would have probably gone by the wayside a little bit by now. The freshness of the hops would have probably gone. And um, the reason why I aged it is I mean, they've called it a strong ale. For me, I just wanted to see what this beer, because I had a bottle fresh in a bar in Cardiff about two, two and a half years ago, and it was fantastic. But I wanted to see what the beer would be like aged. So let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Wow, it was quite difficult to get off and he kind of sprained my wrist. Beer in the glass then. Look at that. Doesn't that look really good? It's lovely in the glass. Look at the carbonation at the bottom sticking to the glass. Some of you eagle-eyed viewers might notice that as a dirty glass, but I assure you it's a clean glass. Um, nice that was a carbonation as, you, as I wash, wash the beer back and forth in the glass. Just, oh, look at that lacing. It's a dark, hazy, amber coloured ale, slow moving carbonation, which means it's going to be quite a dense, rich, thick, malty beer. The ABV kind of gives that away at the same time. Let's dive into the aroma. <clears throat> oh, this smells great. You still, even after nearly three years, you get a big sense of the American hops in the beer. It's still smelling like a, a triple IPA at 9.1% ABV. But then all of a sudden it's becoming a barley wine at the same time because it's, it's rich, it's dense, it's malty, it's biscuity, it's bready, there's lots of caramel aromas coming through. I'm excited by this, I'm ready to dive in. Cheers everyone. Goodness me. Wow, it's so rich. So rich, so dense, so creamy, yet still carbonated. The carbonation kind of pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. Compared to the fresh bottle I had about two, two and a half years ago, that was much, much more of a say kind of double IPA. This has, it, it's transformed over the years. It really has transformed. It's, it's grown some legs, it's grown some balls. It's a lot smoother, it's a lot rounder. That alcohol kick that was there to begin with has kind of died away. And it's just, when you age a beer at 9.1% ABV or kind of eight and above over the years, it just becomes smoother, more kind of, more of a relaxed, what am I looking for? It's just chilled out. It's just it's just relaxed, chilling. It, it, it's lots of flavour. It's more rounded. It's more balanced. It's one of these beers you want to kick back in front of the fireplace and, and enjoy. Seeing as it's mid-November, I'm quite likely to do this after. But in front of my electric fireplace, not my real log fire. I don't have a real log fire. <laughs> as I rock the beer back and forth, you can see that carbonation chasing the beer up ahead, up the up the head. See that? Now an old brewer once told me the smaller the bubble the better the beer. It's just fantastic. Look at that. 
It's like I'm going to do it from the side. No special effects here. Just me in front of a camera. Watch the watch the the dense head that just kind of sticks to the glass. I drink it. Quality stuff. Lots of barley, lots of biscuit, lots of bread coming through. Lots and lots of caramel flavours. It's still quite sweet. But it's still got the bitterness of, a, of an American... Maybe an American barley wine. There's still bitterness, there's still grapefruit, there's still mango. Albeit it's not as intense as it once was, it's still there. I like it. I really like it. It's a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. The question is, would I prefer the fresh bottle or the aged bottle? I'd probably say the aged bottle. Three year aged bottle of Urcht Strong Ale from Ruidop. Brewed at Damolin. Yeah, it's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.